Right, hello. Um, I don't know whether this is going to be a vlog or not, and I don't know whether this is worth posting. But I've got two cables that are going to be repaired. Well, I'm going to try and repair. Oh, well, hello, I'm Johnny, and um, in this, I guess this is like a repair, repair vlog. If you're a guitarist or you work with an audio and you're using these cables, and if you don't buy good quality ones, uh, like me, because I like to get them on the cheap, then they'll often um, not not work after use due to soldering issues, wiring problems, connections getting loose, or just poorly made cables. So I'm going to try and fix these two. This is a batch cable. This was used on my pedal board. Uh, it stopped working a couple months back. And then I just sort of kind of left it, but I thought I would repair it because I've extended my pedal board now. I need it. Um, this connection here should be um, soldered onto this kind of lug. Can you see that up there? So that'll be easy enough to repair that one. This is a um, oh, this is a TRS cable. So this is for my uh, my speakers. That is a poorly made, wiry tangle of metal, plastic, solder. That is a disgrace. Look at that. Unbelievable. That's going to be a um, that is going to be a bigger repair task. But let's see if I can um, vlog doing this and see if they both work in the end. Right. First, let's do the easy one first. Okay, this is the uh, the patch cable, um, so I just need to clip the end of this plastic bit off a little bit. Why do Americans pronounce solder as solder? I know English people aren't entirely exempt from the um, the odd grammatical uh, misgiving, but sol it right. Okay, it's spelled S O L. D E R. Why has it then turned into sard? What, where, where did sard come from? The origins of the word solder comes from French, and I don't think this French would be saying sarder. It'd be saying solder, solder, probably. Anyway, that's my little um, rant over. Seems to be one of my pet hates, I think. One of my biggest ones is, anyways. Just wh why did you need to add the S? We're not fine with just saying anyway. I'll tell you what, whilst I'm talking about this... Ah! Got it! Yes! There we go. This is going to be one boring vlog, I'll tell you that. <laughs> it's shaky hand time. Okay, the problem with that one was that I just had the kind of the copper wires all fanned out, hoping that it would just sit nicely on the uh, the lug with the solder. You need to kind of twist it, gather it together, so it's one kind of little strip of uh, copper wire, which I'm doing now with some pliers. Oh. I think I've done that. I think I've done it. Both of them are just completely tangled with each other. So now both of the uh, copper lines and wires are all spindled and twisted together and attaching to each of those uh, the respective lugs, the red one and the black one. So I just need soldering on and then it should work, hopefully. This is a really handy way of soldering. I have a pair of pliers kind of ready with the solder just in it there. You can put it down, it's acting as another pair of hands.
I think that's done it. Okay, so as you can see, the patch cable, this one, this one here with the plastic kind of uh, shielding around the, the copper wire, that was just loose, so that was completely off. It had either just been ripped off or, yeah, most likely ripped off. So that patch cable should work. As you can see, it's pretty solid. And this poorly made TRS cable was just a complete mess of wires. So I've separated them, and as you can see now, they're both on each lug, each respective lug. To be fair, this was, how much was this? About three quid, four quid. So yeah, so that's the um, that's a drawback of buying a three or four pound TRS cable. So you will have to get your hands dirty when it doesn't work. But I think that should work now. So we'll test it in a bit. Okay, first test, TRS cable. That's one speaker disconnected. Let's see if this will work without any wiggling. There we go. See, it's not that hard to um, fix your patch cables or your TRS cables. That's a TRS cable sorted. Uh, right, let's test the uh, patch cable with the pedal. Alright, this is test number two. So I'm going to test the patch cable which I soldered up. So, what have I got here? Uh, pedal Train Metro 16. Uh, I got this recently because I did a gig and I needed something small and portable. Um, and I did use these two pedals at the gig. Fox Gear FSX Baby, kind of a, um, an Echo Rex style uh, drum delay and Boss Super Chorus. Easy accessible chorus to use and pretty cheap as well. Okay, so input into the Super Chorus. These are in a tangle at the moment. Okay, right, this is, this is said cable, so we will see if this works. Moment of truth. Both on. Not sure what that noise was. Hmm. I think that was successful. So, just goes to show. Repairing these kind of patch cables with just a bit of solder and a soldering iron is pretty easy to do um, because I'm not an expert and I just did it in about, what was that, 20 minutes? <laughs> See you later.